Let's have a look at paragraph 37. Again, focus on my timeline, please. Let's say, for example, that we are standing on 31 December 2020, right? This year, we have recognized a loss of 100,000, taxable loss of 100,000. But on that date, guys, on 31 December 2020, it is not probable that there will be future taxable profits and there is no taxable temporary differences. Therefore, we may not recognize a deferred tax asset. But now the year has passed and continued and we have signed big contracts. And we are now standing on 31 December 20.21. And this was a great year. A very, very great year. The standard indicates to us, if it became probable that there will be future taxable profits. For example, we've signed a contract for a five-year period. And based on the cash flow, it is probable that there will be future taxable profits. We may, and look at this, we may go back and recognize the deferred tax asset relating to the prior year loss, which we've not recognized. We may go back and recognize that deferred tax asset. Therefore, if you look at our deferred tax calculation, initially, when we were standing on, when this is 31 December 2020, we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know what's going to happen. But currently, it looks like we're not going to have taxable profits. They did not recognize the DFID tax asset. Okay. But now, in the current year, we've identified that there is profit. And we have a contract. The standard indicates to us that we may now go back and include our 100,000 loss and recognize a deferred tax asset relating to this loss to be able to use in future. Look at the left side. Reassessment of unrecognized. Unrecognized, we did not recognize the deferred tax in the prior year. The standard indicates Unrecognized DFA tax asset to be reassessed at the end of each reporting period. Therefore, at the end of each reporting period, at the end of 2021, we need to go back and just identify, reassess that loss. May we now recognize a DFA tax asset relating to the loss? It is important that you're able to link this to your conceptual framework criteria in terms of an asset. And then it indicates we may recognize the deferred tax asset to the extent that it has become probable that future taxable profits will allow the deferred tax asset to be recovered.